hey everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video today is going to be what i think is the biggest collab i've ever seen on youtube at least in the beauty community this collab is so huge there are so many people involved not only here on youtube but also on instagram so i am really 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 happy to be a part of this collab this is going to be the 12 pans of christmas project pan challenge and if you are not familiar with a project pan you're just gonna have to look it up because I don't really have the time to explain it to you. It's it's a lot and it's a whole community. It has become super big here on YouTube. You can literally look up videos for it and find tons of people partaking in Project Pans and the challenges and the tags and things like that. It's, it's huge here on YouTube and this collab is huge. So I'm so happy to be a part of it. The actual creator of this particular 12 Pans of Christmas Project Pan Challenge um, Jacqueline Levine she reached out to me we are friends here on YouTube and she reached out to me and asked me would I be a part of this project pan challenge because she know that I used to make project pan videos um, a while back on my channel before I stopped filming and everything like that so yeah she reached out to me and a bunch of other people asked us to get together to do this collab and we all said yes of course and we're all doing this so basically we're picking out 12 different products that we want to work on or finish up or hit pan on by December 31st this is actually gonna go a little bit past Christmas time but you know we're doing it all the way up until December 31st and it's just really fun um, to actually like use up your products and get things out of your collection especially if you are a hoarder like I am or if you just tend to buy a lot of makeup and not really use things up it's a really fun challenge to actually get you into your makeup collection and using things up so yes I haven't done a project pan in a really long time but I used to love doing these videos because I am actually one who loves to use up her makeup like I as much as I like buying things I like using things up as well so yeah I am actually going to be showing you guys my products that I chose for this project pan they're not super easy but they're not super hard either I think all of these I will be able to make good progress on if not finish up by the time this challenge is over I'm probably the last one to be making my video because everyone else made their video like last week but y'all know how it is with the newborn and I went back to work so it's just it's crazy but I'm here and I'm ready to show you guys everything that I have so let's start so the first thing I'm trying to finish up is my covergirl true blend oily skin face primer this is the basically the only primer that I've been using recently consistently like every time I do my makeup I really really like this primer I don't actually have a lot to go this is actually going to be like a give me product because I think I'm about like right here with it I haven't marked any of my products but I'm about right here with it there's not much in here at all and I do do my makeup for work every day so I have been using this um, on the weekends as well as the work days so I will be able to finish this up before December 31st it's just a give me product but yeah this is the first item the next thing I have here is a foundation this is my Maybelline fit me matte and poreless foundation in 355 coconut this is a foundation that I've really been enjoying more for everyday wear um, it's like about right here here so I haven't used too much of this but this is actually my second bottle of this foundation so I do really enjoy it and, and it's a nice mattifying foundation and it does actually hide your pores it wears well throughout the day it looks really good so yeah this is my second item so my third product is going to be this Ulta double duty pressed powder foundation in dark and I've already hit pan on this but I just want to use it up this is lighter than my skin tone so I just use it in the areas that I want to highlight I don't use it all over my face but even still using it in the areas like under my eyes my forehead nose cupid's bow and chin i feel like i would be using a lot of it and i would be able to get rid of it by december 31st so i'm adding that in and i feel like i can use it up by then then i have two concealer type products that i want to add in so this is going to be item number four and item number five counting them separately this is the sephora bright future gel serum corrector in yellow and i use this basically with all of my concealers that are 
not as brightening as I want them to be since this is a color correcting type product. I don't have very much in here. When I swirl it around, I can see spaces in here and I might actually need to take out the stopper pretty soon because I'm not getting a whole lot of product on the wand. But um, I do really like this product as a color corrector so I have no issues with using this every day and I'm quite confident that I could get this done. And then to go along with that, I also have the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer and this is in number 14 toffee again same thing with this one i feel like when i scrape it around i can see the spacing in here so i'm probably going to need to take out the stopper pretty soon and i can also look down through the hole and like see some light in there so yeah probably going to take the stopper out of that one this is a nice lightweight concealer a very natural looking concealer so again not a product that i have problems with using every single day and i'm really confident that i can get these finished by december 31st my sixth product is going to be my Lorac behind the scenes eyeshadow primer this is an eyeshadow primer that i've been using recently to go ahead and prime my eyelids for my eyeshadows i have oily skin all over including my eyelids so i have to use an eyeshadow primer and i have a ton of them laying around so i just pick one when i'm done with one of them and start using it and so far i've gotten down to about here with this one so i've used a good bit of it this is just a sample size of it but i have used a good bit of it um and i just started using this maybe a couple of months ago so i don't think i'm going to be able to finish this by december 31st but i will be able to make quite a dent in it i'll probably get about down to here with it like right before the cap um because i use this often every day i use it for my eyeshadow today and i have no problems with using this because i do eyeshadow quite often my seventh item, I know I'm not going to be able to finish it, but I will make good progress on it. This is a ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadow in Amaze. This is one of their metallics. I love this eyeshadow. I think everybody who has had this color really likes it. I'll go ahead and give you guys a swatch. I've had this for a really long time, but mine is still nice and creamy. I can still use it all over my lid without it crumbling. I have hit pan on it, and that's not just the easy pan that you can hit on ColourPop's eyeshadows. You know how if you press them around or whatever you hit pan i've actually used up quite a bit of this eyeshadow i don't know if you guys can tell the dent in it so yeah um i just want to make some progress on this eyeshadow and use it a lot of people say that color pops super shock shadows go bad and start crumbling really fast mine hasn't and i've had this one for about two years now so i just want to get some use out of it it is a really really nice shadow one that i could use every day i could use it in my inner corner i could use it all over the lid so it's versatile eyeshadow and i just want to make some progress on it and then also from ColourPop, this is my eighth item. This is their Super Shock Cheek Pearlized Highlight in Wisp. This is a really, really pretty eyeshadow that I can, no, highlight that I can use every single day. It is gorgeous. Again, I've had it for a while, but it's still so soft. As you can see, it's like that gold color. It looks so good on the cheeks. And since it's a cream to powder finish, I don't necessarily have to top this off with a powder highlight. It looks good on its own. It naturally looks good on its own. It sinks into the skin, but it does turn into a powder. So it sets really well and it wears well throughout the day. I really like the ColourPop highlight. Want to make some progress on it. I know damn well I'm not going to be able to use up this whole thing by December. But I kind of want to hit pan on it. I have a little dent going. But by December 31st, I want to actually see some pan showing on this highlight so this is going to be my everyday highlight and i want to make some progress on it so my ninth item this is an urban decay shadow stick in sin i'm not even going to tell you guys how long i've had this but i've used it before there's a swatch of it it's just like the sin eyeshadow um i've used it and it doesn't irritate my eyes so i decided that i want to put this in this project to get some use out of it again this is another versatile product that i can use on my inner corner i can use on my lid i can use in my waterline if i want to brighten up so i can get some really good use out of this using it every day um doing an everyday eyeshadow look so yeah another pencil liner type product i have is this mark jacobs eyeliner so this is going to be my 10th product so this is the highliner crayon in rococo and i got this in a set last year i really like the mark jacobs highliners but they do dry out fast i've heard that from 
so many people on YouTube. That's why not a lot of people like them. I don't know if you guys can see the swatch right there. It's a really pretty, really, what? Oh my God. It's a really pretty metallic brown type of shade. And I love putting this in my waterline. It's not like a typical matte brown. It has some metallic properties. So it kind of shimmers and it looks really, really nice. So um, I just want to use this up completely before it starts to dry out. So it's not a lot but you don't use a lot when you're putting this in your waterline it is nice and pigmented so yeah um i don't know if i can finish it up by december 31st but i want to give it a try because i, I want to get rid of this so my 11th item my 11th and 12th item are both lip products so these go hand in hand with each other these are going to be my everyday lip products that i wear to work so i have a lipstick and a lip gloss so this is a mini of the kat von d studded kiss lipstick in the shade lovecraft i think everybody knows what this is it's just a nice rosy mauvey tone lipstick that's it right there it is very flattering on my skin tone and i have a bite beauty lip gloss this is it just it doesn't have an actual shade name it just has a number it's number one it's just a pale nudish kind of pinky toned lip gloss i'll give you a swatch of it it goes really well with the lovecraft lipstick as you guys can see it's a very cool tone but it pairs really well with that lipstick so these two are going to be like my everyday lip combo until i finish them up i don't think it's going to take me no time at all to finish up the gloss but lipstick we all know even in a mini size can take quite a while to use up so i'm going to try my hardest to get this finished this is how much i have of it so i have used a good bit of it but not enough nowhere near enough to be saying that i'm gonna finish it by december 31st but i am gonna try i'm gonna work really hard on it to see if i can get it done and then i'll have a lip product out of my collection and I'll be happy about that because I have a ton of lip products. So that you guys is all of the products that I am going to be working on for my 12 pans of Christmas project pan challenge. I am so excited to be working on these products. I have very high hopes to get most of these done by December 31st. I'm probably going to get I'm probably only going to have maybe two or three items that are going to be still kicking and still around by the time December 31st comes. But I think majority of them, I will have finished them up and hit my goal on them. So I'm excited to be doing this. Go ahead and check out all of the ladies that's going to be a part of this collab, both on YouTube and on Instagram. I will have them all listed down below. Jacqueline is doing a fantastic job of keeping up with everyone's videos once they upload them in a playlist so i will have the playlist linked down below i have their channel names linked down below their instagram user accounts linked down below more information about project pan just everything check the description box that will all be listed down there so yeah that's everything i thank you guys so much for watching i hope you all enjoy this video please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you guys can see when i do my update and my finale for this project pan and yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.